In this video, we will examine a special effects method developed by Conrad Rothman. Conrad discusses his ideas with Luz Defenol. It's always good to bounce ideas off each other before starting work. Conrad has developed a cork dust donut fireball, which is hidden under a car. It's simple, safe and effective. Working with Conrad is always a pleasure. A rough sketch is made identifying all the elements required to simulate a car explosion. Sketches are a powerful communication tool in explaining what is required. Conrad's vast experience in film special effects is worth noting. He's always willing to try new methods to improve the art and degree of safety. There are two cars. One is for testing, the other one will be used in the shoot. Both cars are stripped of any unnecessary components. Conrad will also add an extra effect, a reactive lift delivered by a forklift which will pull the car up pivoting on the rear wheels. This will add an extra dimension of movement to emulate the forces involved in a real car bombing. We're going to do a test here of pulling the front end of the car up by pulling on the back. Hi. Testing the lifting principle is done first before pyro elements are added. Conrad is looking for a fast jump up and release without rolling the car over. A release hook is used to suddenly drop the car at a required height. Faster one. Both yeah. The initiation of all the pyro events will be stimulated by the car's first movement upwards. Next, the pyro will be added. It's a great test. The cork dust donut is an excellent fireball generator. You can clearly see how the cork dust stops burning without any residual fire. Cork dust when burning looks exactly like petrol diesel fireballs. Cork dust does not set fire to the car. LPG flame bars will be fitted as a controlled method of explosion aftermath fire effects. There are other elements to this explosion. Sand loaded door kicking mortars and safe water crystal glass loads are also tested. The location for the car explosion is a newly refurbished urban area. This explosion has to be as low impact as possible considering the proximity of surrounding structures with large glass features. Film pyro is a secretive vocation. Very few people have the so-called keys to the kingdom. The pyro loads are sorted and bagged against moisture. The car is fitted out with all the mortars required to drive the loads in a controlled direction. The cork dust needs only a plastic mortar to work from. Their ignition loads are extremely small. The car's springs are compressed to give a weighted look as there is no engine. The rear seatbelt anchors are the pulling points attached to the forklift. One here with a fireball at the back. Two hits the, the screen. This thing goes off as well, this orange flash. Then we have another ones at the back flight with water crystals flying through the window. Fireball plus underneath with a donut. LPG lines are fed through the rear of the car to pre-installed gas bars. Lou is loading the cork dust donut. It is the main feature of this explosion, supplying a circular fireball which hugs the ground. A difficult effect to do with other fireball methods. Final checks are done in daylight, as this will be a night explosion. A safety brief is done with the film crew and local firefighters who will be on standby. All elements of the effect are explained and are sighted by the fire crew. It's time to shoot. Arm and action! After the explosion, all there is to do is cool down the gas bars, which have made some parts of the car quite hot.
Conrad Rothman's Cork Dust Donut Fireball Generator delivers a very realistic effect in the safest possible manner. <laughs>